Just got this in the mail. I even forget what the tie is supposed to look like. And already I'm presented with this beauty. A number. Two numbers, actually. One is 95, the other is something that I will email uh, Sterling Scott later to register myself. Also, FYI, for your information, FYI information, um, I just found out, or maybe not just found out, I found out like a month ago, or whenever they revised it, that I am in fact in the, uh, or on the website as an owner of two ties. So yeah, check that out, sterlingscott.com. Go into a, what, verification or whatever, and I should be right there. They have a signed letter for me, which is awesome. Well, like, the, uh, that signing part isn't as awesome. I was mainly speaking about this. They have their own special little seal. Sterling Scott, SC. Santa Claus, if you will. The Santa Claus of ties. Do, do, do. And I shall open that up and probably read it to myself later and cry from how emotional and profound it must be. Oh my goodness, it's so profound. Also, this tag is sticking out of here, which makes me want to get to the source of it. But now I have to take this little ribbony bow thing off. <coughs> effort. <coughs> Maximum effort. <coughs> if you didn't notice, I have spent an entire week pretty much getting over a weekend long cold. That does not want to leave, even though... It was like last weekend, not the previous weekend, but the weekend before that. Good times. Dun, dun, dun. More wrapping and dollars and stuff. Oh my goodness. Here's a business card. Do, do, do. Sterlingscott.com. I don't know if you're able to scan that little thing or not. Do, do, do. What else is there? There's a little certificate, pretty much the birth certificate of... The, uh, the tie itself, from what I have been told, there was like an, there was a, a tutorial almost, or step-by-step -step video of what actually is in these boxes and why we can't just like blow it off. Lots of money. We shall make it rain eventually. Feel free to uh, ask me for one of these lovely little bills, credits, whatever, marks, uh, because they actually do have promo codes on them. Whoa! Are these different pro promo codes? They might be different promo codes. I'm not sure. I'm Trevor, actually. But yeah, feel free to talk to me about those if you are interested in these kinds of ties. Do do do. That almost looks demonic, but it is far from demonic. Okay, so under this lies this. And this right here is the tie. I believe it was called the Brady Bunch of Fun. Very interesting names. Like I want to say I have the Husky Night Flame, the Dragon's Breath, and now the Brady Bunch of Fun. And it looks very psychedelic-y. Flowers. Okay. Shouldn't let myself get carried away. How should I go about this? Ah, remove the pin. That's how grenades work, right? Do, do, do. Yeah, so this pin, for any of you who plan to buy a Sterling Scott tie, you should probably like, thank me slash Sterling Scott for making these awesome ties. These pins are actually necessary for making certain knots from what I've been told. I believe I have yet to see it, so I'll just go off of what they're saying for now. Do, do, do. Here's some promo stuff about Scott himself. Congratulations. This is a little introductory thing. Maybe I should have this memorized at some point. Quite possibly. Anyways, oh my goodness. This, these ties. Wow, this feels thinner than the other ties too. Okay, so these ties. I forget the vocabulary terms, especially uh, Scott specific vocabulary terms, but here's his little branding on the tie sewn in. 
This is, I want to say this is all like handmade or like very genuinely made, not at all mass produced, but here's the spear or like the tip of the short end of the tie. And then this design runs a very long length, abnormally long for uh, people used to those normal modern neckties. Whoa, it also isn't just like pointy cornered, it's more not pointy cornered. And then there's this side, which is a nice pink, do do do, different kind of texture. This right here is the yoke, and I think that has my uh, model number or whatever for these ties. Each tie has a number. It's kind of like ants. They don't necessarily have names, but they have numbers. Hashtag, rest in peace, Antony. Okay, so, is there anything else to show here? No, it's just the padding at the bottom. Okay, so, <coughs> my goodness, I have the privilege of knowing a special way to tie this, and I may or may not butcher it because I haven't, like, completely practiced 100%, like, every single day, which I probably should at some point. But anyways, there are exclusive knots to this style of tie that you can only do for this style of tie, and they are, I want to say, patent protected by Sterling Scott himself. So I will not divulge in how you actually tie them. I will simply be talking at a distance and hopefully not reciting the steps around, around, over, through. That's actually a foreign hand knot, which is not this kind of knot. See what I did there? Not this knot. Okay, so you're going to get a brief pause of just listening to me ramble. Hopefully you enjoy it because I can't really do much else. Well, I can stop the live stream, but I want to start another. I would have to start another given that I want to show you guys live what this looks like. And hopefully it looks good on my first attempt. Oh, I really hope it looks good on my first attempt. Do do do. Did I do it right? I don't know if I did it right. I may have messed up. Do do do. Boots and cats. Um. So yeah. Uh. How have you all been? Like how have, how has this week been going for you? Are you excited for the weekend? Maybe? Petetra? That's French for possibly, I think. I uh, dropped French after like my sophomore year or something. Oh, wow. Well. Also, I have a very different um, something, a very different outfit for today than for this tie, so it's gonna be kind of weird first time around. First tie mm, around. Mm, that was kind of a uh, forced pun. But aren't they all? Actually, they aren't all. Do do do. Okay. I think I may have done it. Ugh. Gonna bring down the collar. And someone's calling me from the other phone. Okay, time for the awesome lift out of the thingy. Do do do. Can I switch? I don't want to switch. Yes, I do want to switch. Okay. I press the button. Ugh. Okay, so this is me wearing a tie and ignoring a phone call, which I really hope isn't important. But anyways, if you look, that is the primary flower design with pink and black and white, which I may or may not go well with it. I don't know. It's kind of dark on my screen, so I can't really compare. Maybe I can look in a mirror as I walk around and hopefully not lose connection. It's, it's all right. It can match more, it can match less. Um, the shine, the genuine shine of this is lovely when you just walk around and see the shine just move. It's really cool. These ties also are not meant to be like firm, straight edge kinds of ties. <coughs> They're very loose and um, 
do 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 what's the word it starts with an r reminiscent reminiscent of the old days of say cravats and ascots back when ties were more like actual simple cloths rather than um what they've developed into nowadays so it's a very different look it's probably not everyone's look i hope it's or i hope it's it can be my look i don't know if it is my look you guys should tell me if it's my look maybe you don't have to you have no obligation to tell me anything but that's that's miranda cosgrove's right the miranda rights um I think that's all I have to say right now. Uh, I've said Sterling Scott quite a few times in this, so I've advertised him enough probably. Uh, just just in case, Sterling Scott, Sterling Scott, Sterling Scott. Uh, now I want to go play Battlefield. So yeah, see ya. Uh, eh, eh.